All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has now been a week. I am here with Dre. We are staring at the Corvette. It's finished product. We did take the car to Arizona, reveal it at the Arizona show, and now we are back in Los Angeles for their YouTube reveal. Now the front welds are still not on the car because we gotta install extended studs to put them on, and the carbon lip might have flown off on the freeway on the way back from Arizona, so it kind of looks incomplete, but here's the reveal of my 2015 Corvette Phase 3. guys my 2015 Corvette phase 3 this is actually called gloss carmine red which the OG subscribers remember is the OG color of my Evo I used to own and now Dre behind the camera owns it but uh, this car is a daily as of right now we have the R8 that will be getting twin turbo very very soon so this is the daily driver as of right now no specific plans with the car we could pro charge it we could sell it we could keep it a daily driver I want your guys opinion in the comment but yeah we're missing the front lip and then we got this horrendous, absolutely, this is the worst hood gap I've ever seen in my life. We tried to fix it, we couldn't, so uh, we might need to be going back to the OEM hood here. But as you guys remember, in the same exact parking lot, about a month ago or so, Dre took delivery of my Evo. He picked it up here, took it home, we did a final drive with it, and, uh, and if you just look. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> It is very hard to believe this is the same car, but uh, Dre has completely changed the way this looks. What's the proper name for this? It's called Dragonfire Red. Dragonfire Red. So I had the option also of doing this color, but I went with the OG Evo color just to, you know, just for the fucking memes. But uh, this thing looks absolutely amazing. This is the nicest shade of red I've ever seen in my life. It's got a glass. As you guys all remember, the hood was a little bit damaged, so he's completely wrapped over it. Good choice, good choice there. Looks absolutely spotless. Interior, yeah. Absolutely spotless in here. Looks brand new off the showroom floor. Rear end wise, you've changed a few things, yeah, huh? Yeah, we've added a few things. So we, we wrapped the trunk, you had it exposed on yeah. the wraps, but uh, we wanted to leave this little area here, the duck bill, we left the carbon as you guys can see. We've added the Evolution X. This is actually off of a nine, not a 10, but the 10 Evolution X riding looks like a child wrote it. <laughs> they changed the taillights. Painted black. Diffuser was that like, it was like a rotten plastic stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We sanded it down, we primed it, we painted it gloss black, and now we have two exhaust tips instead of one. Why? What happened? So as you guys saw earlier, Dre has installed a little cutout on the car, so when you start it up right now, you can't, you can't hear shit. But when you press this button, oh boy. That is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. A good idea. Yeah, it is. We're gonna go for a little drive around the block right now. My Corvette reveal is cool and all. Like, yeah, it's red, it's nice, it's the same color as the Evo for the memes, but uh <laughs> this is the real reveal here. Dre's Evo. We got floor mats, we've got a cigarette lighter cap, we clean the ceiling. This car is a brand new car. You guys have no idea. And of course we have the ever so <laughs> So although the car does idle properly and it's running great, we are gonna go stand alone ECU, we're gonna run a MoTeC on here, which means we're gonna tie nitrous. No car is Andre's car without nitrous. So Absolutely. This button right here will be the activating switch. This button right here will be the perch switch. All right, so your first thoughts driving the car, it's it's uh, fairly quiet for some reason, it isn't is it? It's fairly quiet. I think I might have forgotten how to drive stick because I've stalled this thing three times already. <laughs> Mexico right here as you guys can see right there yeah, down clearly down downtown, downtown, LA, downtown LA's right there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Mexico oh my goodness <laughs> I put a 
thousand miles on this built motor over a year span and this guy's done 1500 in like three weeks so the thought with this car is to make this a daily 900 horsepower street car which is exactly what the plan is so i've driven it about 1500 miles only because i wanted to make sure all the kinks were worked out that it will hold up for everyday driving and so far it really has chris did a great job with the motor uh, uh ronnie did a great job with the motor chris did a great I just job reserved it for dre basically chris did a great job finding the right person to build the motor correct <laughs> thank you for that of course The number one concern on the car right now is getting this gap fixed. So once that is fixed and the carbon lip is back on, this is gonna be a beautiful daily driver with the black wheels on. For all the people asking who won the 350Z, we contacted the original winner, the sweepstake company, contacted the original winner. They didn't reply in a two week time. So the new winner was picked. They actually happened to live in Mesa, Arizona, where the car show was about three weeks ago. So I don't know what the chances of that are, but the winner was there. Geo drove down to Arizona, dropped off the car to the new owner. Here's some footage from that, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys next time i am joined here by mr geo himself and today is the day the z is going off to its new owner as you guys all know by now january 5th the z giveaway ended and well the sweepstake company picked someone and you want to explain to them what happened from there so what happened was the sweepstakes company picked one initial winner the first one and they called him no replies no answers and they emailed him and he never replied back to him they gave him 20 days unbelievable and he never you had 20 that. days to check your email he probably checked his email after this <laughs> and you're seeing that you were the winner originally and that sucks unfortunately but a new winner has been picked yeah and uh, it's uh in arizona once again it's actually in mesa it's in the same exact city i don't know what the likelihood of that happening is where the winner is in the same exact city same exact state we just had a car show last week it was probably a two to three percent chance of that happening but uh congrats to our winner the name is nathan boy nathan Boyd, congrats on the car. Nathan? Yes, sir. How are you, man? Good, good, good. Very nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you, too. Giovanni, man. Thank you. Can't believe I won. Man. Can't believe you won? Yeah. There was I a lot of entries. I can't believe you won either. Yeah. <laughs> but yet again, there was supposed to be one winner, so hey, you know, you're just uh, the one that was lucky and blessed, huh? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Joe and Chris picked it out. <laughs> I follow uh, Chris and I've uh, watched his videos for about like two years now, just watching him. And then I seen him uh, get this and then like take it to the track and all that yeah. and everything. So then I seen him post that he was giving it away and then I just copped his shirt and I was like, What, you, what shirt did you get? I got the um, Supercar Suspects and Gearhead Society. It started in Los Angeles. Ah, okay, cool. Okay. So that's the lucky t shirt. And there it goes to its new home. Race cars don't run wipers, but just in case you decide yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, we're just happy that, you know, it went to a good home. I'm happy. Hopefully we're able to see it. Oh, heck yeah, um, you, you know, see it around and stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, I'm very excited for you. Heck we were talking on the way over here, like, man, I hope this kid likes it. Yeah, man. man. Hey, I appreciate I you entering, man. Heck you yeah. gotta pay to play, so. Yeah. <laughs> so you do know that you were the alternate, right? Yes. All right, so somebody else. With silver. Yeah. I told you, man, ain't nothing yeah. wrong with silver. silver yeah. Yeah, all right? like, he still took home gold. So, so, yeah. yeah. So the other person never replied back for 20 days. You know, he's going to open his email. And he's, he's going to be gonna mad us, at the world. Joe in the car? No. Sweeps yeah. company reached out to him just like they reached out to you. And they gave him 20 days. By law, the first winner gets 20 days. Yeah. And they're like, hey, guys. It's done. We this guy never called back. He never answered his phone calls. He never answered uh, uh, emails. Emails. We found out who the person was. That person's from California. So this car oh, was gonna man. stay in California. But the alternate came in. They sent us the email, and we we're like, "Hey, Nathan, Mr. Nathan Boyd." I said, yeah. "All right, I guess we're going back to Mesa, Arizona." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thank Appreciate you, it, man. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is gonna be on the Supercar Suspects channel as well. So oh, Chris yeah. couldn't be here, and unfortunately, you know, he has a lot of stuff, uh, other stuff going on. But yeah. we are his partner, so we came here to deliver the car for him. Um, on behalf of the whole entire team, GHS and Supercar Suspects, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this man. crazy. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So now we're going to do some legal stuff, and we'll catch you guys in a little we're bit. Do we're done here. Uh, we met Nathan. 
thank you so much bro for entering thank the car you. giveaway uh thank you so much for the support we really do appreciate you and um congrats again man this is uh Great. your new baby heck yeah <laughs> what's the first thing you're gonna do right uh to it probably add that duckbill uh spoiler and then some mods to the engine yeah all right cool man all right nathan we'll see you later bud thank you the z has a new owner what are we gonna go away next stay tuned it's the perfect sequence